Hey, this is Dr. Otto Jenke, and thanks for being with me today on a Cairo Rising. I want to talk to you about some evidence-based research. Evidence-based chiropractic. You know, that's a big thing we hear in chiropractic often is, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm evidence-based. And my question always is, what evidence are you using? So let's go to the tote board, Johnny. Let's look at some stuff right here. Do you have this study? It's by Sean Hannon. It was in the um, JVSR, the Journal of Vertebral Subluxation Research. What, you don't get that one? Really? You don't have, you don't access that at all? But you're evidence-based, right? Okay, this is by Sean Hannon. It's called The Objective Physi Physiologic Changes in Associated Health Benefits of Chiropractic Adjustments in Asymptomatic Subjects, a Review of the Literature. Boom, right there. Do you have that one? Here's what it comes down to. Is that uh, Hannon goes through and looks at the literature of chiropractic. The conclusion is the data reviewed lend support to contention that chiropractic adjustments, chiropractic adjustments, not manipulations, chiropractic adjustments often for the purpose of correcting vertebral subluxation confer measurable health benefits to people regardless of the presence or absence of symptoms. I'll say it to you again. Confer measurable health benefits to people regardless of the presence or absence of symptoms. What's that mean? That people got better, scored other ways, not just symptomatically. They scored better in life. Incredible. A significant amount of preliminary evidence supports that people without symptoms can benefit from chiropractic care. What? They're going to benefit from care even though they have no symptoms? But wait a minute. I thought we just saw people for a couple of times when they had acute low back pain. What about that? Improved function can be objectively measured in asymptomatic individuals following chiropractic care in a number of body systems often by relatively non-invasive means. Here's a great question. How many of you are checking the nervous system of your practice members? It is plausible that chiropractic care may be of benefit to every function of the body and have the potential for long-term overall health benefit to those receiving chiropractic care. I'll say it to you again. It is plausible that chiropractic care may be, may be of benefit to every function of the body and have the potential for long-term overall health benefit to those receiving chiropractic care. JVSR, go find it, would you? Go find that article. Become a member of the JVSR. Matt McCoy will love me for saying that. Because of this, get now get into this piece. You're saying, well, that's a review of the literature. Well, I'm, I, don't, I don't want to talk about that one. So let's talk about this one then. The prevalence, patterns, and predictors using three Ps right there, the prevalence patterns and predictors of chiropractic use among U.S. adults results from the 2012 National Health Interview Survey. It's in spine. How much freaking better can you get? You're, you're going to say to me, okay, listen, I don't want to talk about JVSR because that's a chiropractic journal. It's going to be slanted. Okay, let's go to this one, which came out in December of 2017. And uh, Hannon, that, uh, that last one was in 2004. Okay, 13 years later. What do they say here? You're going to love this. December 1st of 2017 out of Spine Magazine. Can you get any better for you? No. Key points from the study. By the way, I get this off of Dan Murphy's site. You don't get Dan Murphy's site? It's 100 bucks for a freaking year, like 150 bucks for a year. Every month you get crap load of, of journals, uh, articles, but you're evidence-based, right? Chiropractic is one of the largest manual therapy professions in the United States and internationally. Chiropractic is one of the commonly used complementary health approaches in the United States and internationally. There's a growing trend of chiropractic use among U.S. adults from 2002 to, 2000, 2002 to 2012. So here's crazy stuff. Here's the crazy stuff. Absolutely bizarre stuff. The reason to use chiropractic, the reason to use chiropractic, 43% of the people said, 
for general wellness or general disease prevention? For general wellness or disease prevention? 43% of the people said that. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? To improve energy, 16%. To improve athletic or sports performance, 15%. To improve immune function, 11%. You look at this stuff, you look at this stuff and say, this is why people are going to chiropractors. 43% of the time it's for general wellness or disease prevention. And our schools, our schools are teaching kids that, teaching students that if they aren't better in six adjustments, get them out the door, refer them out. They never get to this. They never get to this. Did chiropractic lead you to improve? overall health and make you feel better. 67% of the time, people said, yeah. Two thirds of the time, help you sleep better. 42% of the time, help reduce stress levels or to relax, 40%. Make it easier to cope with health problems, 38%. I mean, you look at the stuff, that, you look at the study. I mean, it's, this is from 2017. This is why people are going. How important was chiropractic for maintaining health and well-being? 40% of the time, the people said very important. Specific health problems chiropractic was used for. Back pain or back problems, 63% of the time. Neck or neck problems, neck pain or neck problems, 30% of the time. Chiropractic helped for specific health problems. 65% of the time, people said a great deal. Uh, so you look at this. And, and you start saying, we have the numbers out there. We are helping people for so many more things than just the acute low back pain. And they want this. They want this. So you start looking at the Hannon study. And the Hannon study says, we can help people who are asymptomatic while we're doing some very, very simple testing to see exactly where they're at, where their health is at. You know, I, I'm a huge fan of the Insight substation. I've been using it for 13 years. I think maybe more. 13 years. I scan the nervous system all the time to find out if I'm going to be talking nerve, man. I got a show nerve in my practice. And the Hannon study says you're going to be able to help people who are even asymptomatic. And the Adams study, which was a second study from Spine, says, man, they want wellness. They want to be healthy. They want to be able to do those things they want to do for the rest of their life. They want to be able to enjoy life and be healthy enough to do that. Man, well, that's what we do. That's why they're, they're coming to us for this stuff. Give them the opportunity to do that. Give them the opportunity to be better. Give them the opportunity, which means you probably have to go past these six visits that the insurance covers. Oh, no. Now you got to talk about cash with people. Help them. This is where chiropractic's going. It's not going to just acute low back pain every now and then. Yeah, I see those people in my practice too. But the vast majority of my practice is people who want to get healthy for the next decades. Decades. They need a coach to help them stay that way too. This is where chiropractic is rising to. This is a chiro rising. Join the, the rising tide that's coming on. If you don't want to see those people, I'm more than happy to see them for you for the next decades. I'm Dr. Otto Janke. This is a Cairo Rising. Be, be a Cairo Rising.